Hot news, folks, is brought to you by PWR Feedback Friday, where we discuss Jackie Moore being announced as the next inductee into the WWE Hall of Fame. We also do as David Hero loves, which is respond to your comments about our broadcast. That's every Friday at 5 p.m. exclusively at PWRShow.com. Fans, Monday on Raw, it was announced that Ryback will take on Kalisto at WrestleMania. Did you catch that? I did. Well, I'll repeat well, it, though, just in case. He challenged. Yeah, okay, well, look, having seen this match brewing for weeks, what is the goal here? Is this more for Ryback or is this more for Kalisto? We should have asked JR about that earlier. Maybe we'll ask him about it later. Because I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm missing something here. WrestleMania. You know what it maybe is? they're going to be on the pre-show. Maybe they're going to do something great with Kalisto because he keeps saying the good big guy always beats the good little guy. David I and can, Goliath? I can, I can see Kalisto getting Nash and Mysterio? I can, see the, I can see the upset. There's been <laughs> a lot of upsets lately. Such as? Oh, well, just look at Super Tuesday. I am not having this discussion with you. There's been a lot of talk about the New Day lately you know and their statuses as heels in WWE. You know what, you could have done? what could I have you done? Could have just written my name in. I could be the monkey wrench of this entire election. If, 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 if the Super Friends were to unite and just write in my name. So you'd be like Ross Perot. And Ross Perot said I you people. Donald Trump said Ross those Perot. people, right? My ears are way Same better than his. Uh, whoa, whoa. Monday on Raw. Seriously? The New Day. I'm just stating facts. Did I'm not? This is not that program. Monday on Raw, the New Day took a brutal beatdown at the hands of the League of Nations, and then the match was made for WrestleMania. I loved it. I loved Should it. New Day and the Bootios be positioned more as a face team, or their current place, or is their current place exactly where they should be? You know They're what, tweeners, I guess you you'd know call it. You know what it is, I, and I've said this before, the New Day reminds me of the New Age Outlaws. When oh, they, you didn't know? When they first came out, they had the gift for Gab, the you know, sing-along time, everything else, and they eventually went from the heels to baby faces. Yeah. Same as New Day. And the League of Nations is dominant. Oh, I know yeah. a lot of people don't like them. I think that it is one of the greatest foursomes since the NWO or the, or the Four Horsemen. It's, it's the greatest what faction. Video you saw last yes. week? I, you know, I did not see some On the WWE video. Network. Oh, oh, Edge and Christian. Yes. Yes. Um... I, th I think it's going to be a great match. I think it'll be highly entertaining. But is it going to be four on three, or three on three, four on four? They mentioned the Freebird rule, which of course is relevant because Freebirds are going to the Hall of Fame during the matchup on Monday night. So does Wade, I mean, it, it's just, it's, it's, if, if you think about it, it's amazing how, where these guys were a year ago as to where they are right now. And part of our special coverage of WrestleMania in two weeks, folks, we're going to have a special edition of Primetime looking at the bridge between WrestleMania 31 and WrestleMania 32, and that'll be an interesting discussion for a lot of those talents. But I guess we'll see how this all shapes up at WrestleMania and how the fans react more importantly, because they're in Dallas, 100,000 people are gonna be chanting New Day Rocks instead of New Day Sucks. And imagine the loud USA chant they'll get there in Texas. Folks, the Orlando Sentinel uh, reported on plans for the rumored WWE Hall of Fame physical location at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. And that site will not be the lo location for the Hall of Fame, as has been rumored. <clears throat> the former NBA city site will not house the, <laughs> you ready for this, David? Yeah. The Toothsome Chocolate Factory Restaurant. What's a Toothsome? <laughs> I don't know what a Toothsome is. I think it's like Willy Wonka, the Chocolate Factory. Really? Well, the one, then should call it Willy Wonka. So with this being said, David Hero, does WWE really need a physical Hall of Fame? Because it will not be, at this point in time, at Universal Studios Florida in time for WrestleMania. They will eventually need one because it will be a it'll be a great revenue stream for them because with every Hall of Fame is visited whether it be the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame whether it be the NBA Hall of Fame Major League Baseball NFL they need one and in Orlando it would be a great spot because just for all the merchandising they could do yeah but WWE New York failed due to management issues it was all management you know I was there on the last day February twenty third two thousand three of WWE New York and New York well that explains I it. watched uh, no, the, the No Way Out pay per view went the next day sign on door closed forever no indication the night before that it was closed I still have my tickets up is it because you you know clean them out of Jameson uh, I had not yet discovered Jameson at that time oh no, what was it then Zima 
Uh, I was drinking that at the time. It's good. It was good stuff. Uh -huh. Folks, Roman Reigns returned on Monday night, and uh, he uh, took it to Triple H after Triple H defeated Dolph Ziggler, which was an interesting scenario, by the way, uh, with a Mania, WrestleMania match at stake. That the was fans, terrible. The fans could not have been less enthusiastic, though, about Roman Reigns. Now, the question, David, to start discussion on now, what's the reaction for Reigns going to be like at well, WrestleMania? Let's first rewind a second and explain what they did with Dolph Ziggler. He was a sacrificial lamb because if Triple H beats up one of the baby faces, one of the top guys that the fans truly love, and Reigns comes up for the save, you'd think they would cheer Reigns. And they did not. They booed Roman Reigns. Oh, yeah. Well, he had more, there was cheering, but it was unenthusiastic cheering. For what he should have gotten as a reaction for the beatdown of Triple H, which was a receipt for Triple H's beatdown on him a couple of weeks ago, it was absent. My and remember, wasn't it Pittsburgh where they loved him when he won the championship, Roman Reigns? Yes. No, it was Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Aren't they the same city? No. Brotherly love, no, that's no, the no, brother? No, because the bar's in Pittsburgh. Who? Yeah, you know, he's a loser. Oh, the Triple guy H. with Eisenberg. Yeah, yeah. Um, but poor Roman Reigns. I mean... You know what, let's table this, because next week JR is going to be joining, uh, JR is going to be joining us in a few moments again, but uh, we're going to be talking about Roman Reigns and his character and whatnot next week with JR as well, folks. That is this week's hot news. Thank you so much for, uh, well, that was good interaction, David Hero. You're doing good. You're engaged this week. I, I'm very, I'm always, I'm always engaged. Stay tuned as Jim Ross joins us again for more WrestleMania discussion coming up on Primetime.